This month's inflation data is out and it's getting more and more expensive just to live. This is the Weekly Report on Major Money Matters. Welcome to Major Money Matters. My name is Major and you are watching The Weekly Report. I'm a mortgage broker powered by Edge and we put out The Weekly Report every single week to let you know what's happening in the economic world and how those economic movements may be affecting the housing market. So if this is the first time to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe and ensures that you get updates when we post informational videos or when we post videos like this, that wraps up the week and tell you what's going on in the mortgage space. So CPI, the Consumer Price Index came out this week and it reveals some things that we already knew. However, it also revealed some things of how expensive it is getting just to live. So first things first, we knew that rents were higher. So rents are higher year over year. That's covered in a previous uh, video. I'm not gonna dig into that. But I'll talk about some things that, is, that we're seeing now. Food, the price of food is higher, about 10% higher than you were paying last year. You're paying about 10% more for food right now. Gas or, uh, or gasoline, gasoline, 48% higher. So you're paying more at the pump just to drive around and drive in your vehicles. Used cars, used cars are up about 35%. Now, why are used cars up 35%? They're up 35% because of the parts and services that are used to build cars or repair cars are substantially higher. And what people don't realize is that um, uh, it's Volkswagen and BMW. They basically operate off a computer system, as you know, but there is a wiring harness. And that wiring harness that basically is the brain for the vehicle, that wiring harness is made in Ukraine. So Ukraine has other issues that they're dealing with right now. They're not worried about your BMW, uh, your Volkswagen, and getting those parts and services done. So I talked previously in my previous videos about uh, how interconnected our economies actually are. When something happens in one part of the world, it undoubtedly affects the other part of the world because we don't just have a US economy or a Japanese economy. Those economies exist independently, but they're also very interconnected. So we're seeing things that are happening all over the world affect our economy here. And you're starting to see the effect of, uh, of economic factors on uh, inflation and the price of goods and services going higher. It's not just gasoline because of the, uh, the, the uh, conflict between Russia and Ukraine. It's not just that. It is all goods and services that we're seeing at a higher amount and you're paying a higher amount for those goods and services. Now, we talked about this before. If you have not listened to it, go back and look at the video that talks about the real reason interest rates are rising. Uh, if you go back and look at that, uh, listen to that video, I talk about you know, things like this and why investors are expecting more from interest rates or, or from their returns on goods and services. As investors expect more, that means that you have to pay more for products and services and particularly a mortgage. So your interest rate is higher on mortgages. So let's look at this. Let's look at the two year treasury yield right now. So if we look at the two year treasury yield, now this chart is different from the charts that I normally show because this chart shows you that uh, the, 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 it, that mortgage interest rates, they're not dependent on the 10 year bond. Okay, sorry, I said two year. This is a 10 year treasury. Um, they're not dependent on the 10 year bond, but they do follow closely the 10 year bond mortgage rates do. So usually when you look at where the 10 year treasury is trading, 10 year treasury is trading, you're usually adding about two and a half percent to that. And that's going to show you about where conventional rates are at the time. So right now, conventional rates, if you add about two and a half to this, you're at um, the 10 year treasury is trading at 2.8. If you uh, look at uh, conventional rates, good credit, decent down payment, conventional rates, 
you're looking at the mid fives, so about 5.2, 5.3 on conventional. VA rates, you're still in the uh, the low to mid fours uh, on VA, FHA, government rates. Um, if you're working with my team on Jumbo uh, VA, we specialize in Jumbo. We have great investors that we broker deals to for Jumbo VA. So uh, those investors give us outstanding rates on those things. So uh, you're in the low, uh, low fours on, on Jumbo VA uh, while you know, you might be at some retail establishment or something like that. You're very much into the high fours, potentially fives um, on, on uh, at some retail shop. So you're seeing this chart here. And right now, the 10 year treasury is trading at its highest level since 2018. So we're looking at our highest interest rates in four years. Now, will this continue? I expect this to continue as long as inflation is a concern. Now, we're starting to see uh, prices go up. And as you start to see prices go up, this report comes out from Bank of America this week that credit card spending is jumped to its highest levels since uh, the, our pre-pandemic uh, pre levels. So credit card debt actually is now 33% higher than our pre-pandemic levels. So people are taking these, uh, the fact that goods and services are higher and what they're doing is they're starting to put things on credit cards. And this is driving us more into a inflationary environment. Um, or it's not, it's helping us maintain an inflationary environment. However, what you're going to see is a recession environment come afterwards because when the credit cards are charged up and there's no more stimulus money to pump into the economy and goods and services are higher, what you're going to see is spending come down and you're going to start to see prices come down, not on homes because there is still a serious supply and demand issue with homes. Now, people are saying like, hey, the price of homes, you can't sustain the price of homes. It's too high. You can't do that. Um, and that's not entirely true. And the FHFA is already doing something about the, they're not doing anything about the price of homes. They are doing something about monthly payments, something I predicted was gonna come a year to a year and a half ago. Um, it's now on our doorstep. I'm going to release a video next week that tells you exactly why prices on homes are not going to come down. So that's it for this week. I do want to remind you about our VA home loan webinar. VA home loan webinar is going, uh, happens about every other week. Um, this is a webinar that I do to educate people about the VA home loan benefit. I do it to educate veterans and our active duty service members. I also do it to educate uh, realtors to have a greater understanding about the VA home loan and how powerful and how awesome this product is for our military service members, uh, both past and present. Next one, if you want to, if you want to, uh, get involved in our VA home loan webinar, it's one hour long it is uh, bi-monthly. We do it, uh, two times a month. Um, you can get involved with that. You can visit us on our, uh, Facebook page. There's going to be a link there for you to register. If you stroll down through there to register for our next seminar, uh, there's also going to be a link in the comments here where you can uh, register for our next VA home loan uh, webinar. So talk to you soon. Have a great week. It's Holy Week. It's Easter. Enjoy celebrating Easter uh, with your church family, with your family and friends. Enjoy it. It is a great celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're just relaxing, take Good Friday. Take the time to relax. Um, and get ready to hit it hard next week. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next time on Major Money Matters.